My name is Tal Brody. I was born in Trenton, New Jersey. Upon finishing uh, college, I was selected by the Sporting News, one of the 10 best players in the United States during the 1965 college season. I was the 12th or 13th player in the 1965 draft of the NBA. All of a sudden, I got a nice uh, invitation to come to Israel for the 7th Maccabean Games. And during the 7th Maccabean Games, uh, Maccabi Tel Aviv approached me and they said, if a Jewish kid like you would come to Israel for a year, you could help take us uh, from a team that never went past the first round of the European championship to a different level. And the country is going through a very serious recession. Uh, we have Arabic boycotts around us. And I think the basketball, if we would win, it would make the people smile. And this challenge appealed to me. The first year, our team, from a team that never went past the first round, we went all the way to the finals of the European Cup. And it was like a revolution in this country. All of a sudden, everybody wanted to go to a basketball game, young and old. So after my first year, I decided to come back for a second year. Well, growing up in Trenton, New Jersey, before the Six Days War, where Israel didn't have any television, and it was difficult to think about Israel outside of desert and sand and camels and donkeys. So you never saw on any type of TV in the States the vibrant social life that attracted me in Israel. Uh, the great beach weather and pool weather and the great amount of singers and entertainers that are coming into Israel. We didn't see these in the, when I was growing up in the, in the U.S. It was the time of the Vietnam War in the United States. I went back, I did two years in the United States Army, and as I was finishing, I get a nice note from Moshe Dayan, the defense minister that impressed me so much that he thought about me and knew that I was finishing the American Army. And he asked me if I would come back to Israel and to continue the work that I was doing, which is causing a great morale and spirit for the country and making the country feel proud. And I was so impressed by it that I said to my mom and dad, I said, you know what? I'm gonna go back to Israel, I'm gonna make Aliyah to Israel, and all the rest is for history. You know, as soon as you get off the plane and the attitude of the people receiving you and welcoming you, you, falling in love with Israel is very easy. The cultural life, the social life, the religious life, Israel has everything. I'm looking already close to 50 years that I'm in Israel and six times we won the European Basketball Championship and over 16 times we're in the finals of the best in Europe. One of the most exciting games that we had, our game against the great Russian team, the same Russian team that beat the United States team the first time in the 1972 Olympics. And here Israel, the Davids are going against up the Goliaths of the Soviet Union who are all the supporters of all the Arabic armies. They didn't want us to come to Russia to play them. They wouldn't come to Israel to play us. They chose a neutral court in Belgium. Well, so many Jews from Israel and from Europe came to support us. There weren't any fans outside of a couple KGB agents uh, that came with the Russian team. And our fans greeted us with Israeli flags and Chaveinu Shalom Aleichem, Am Yisrael Chai. The spirit was fantastic. We went on to win the game 91-79 by 12 points and as all the crowd, they picked us up, they went on to the floor dancing the whole row. It was unbelievable. The announcer comes up to me with a microphone. He says, Tal, how do you feel about this game? And it just came out of my heart. We are on the map. We are staying on the map, not only in sport, but in everything. We came back to Israel and the Prime Minister Robin has said to me how much this meant for Israel in such a tough period of time. And I realized that this meant a lot to the country. I came uh, to Israel to play basketball, but I stayed in Israel because what I saw the basketball was doing for the country. Prime Minister Netanyahu came to me, the state of Israel decided to have a goodwill ambassador. And I think uh, B'nai Akiva organization is much more educated towards Israel. You're in the right direction. Uh, Israel needs you. And I think that the fact that you can be very proud of Israel's and its achievements and the Nobel Prizes, 
the technology, the medicine, and I'm glad I had this opportunity to talk to the kids at the Mosheva. Today, you know, as the 12th or 13th in the draft, when you have 30 teams, if they would offer me $2.7 million, you can't, that, that type of money doesn't exchange the experience, the beautiful experiences that I lived through and lived here. I enjoy going back to the United States. I enjoy seeing the pro ball games, you know, when I'm back and I, I have friends, I have family in the States, but to live, I want to live in Israel. And you know, we have a good life in Israel. I see it through my children. I see it through my grandchildren, you know, and, and I just love this country.